Yeah. 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 Whoa, you're actually high. flying. Whoa. We're flying right <laughs> up to the oh, wow, we reset it there. <laughs> I've seen the, the, the Mazda Spin Monaco meme, you know, going around on the internet. So this is precisely like it, man. Whoa, whoa, what the? So keep watching. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Vahaki and today I've got a little science experiment for you. I've seen this video on YouTube going around from different YouTube channels. They do IndyCar versus Formula 1 and they only talk about the numbers, you know. They only talk about engine power and about whatever, stat, stop, speed. But, you know, you can theoretically do a lot of bullshit, but in real life that's where shit happens. So I thought... Let's take it to the test and do a IndyCar versus Formula 1 car around Indianapolis. So here we are. First of all I'm going to do a hot lap in both the IndyCar and also the Formula 1 car. And then uh, after the hot lap we're going to do a 10 lap race around this Indianapolis track and see who's fastest. So I think the IndyCar has a higher top speed, especially the oval IndyCar because they use different versions for speedways, ovals and for uh, circuits and the oval version has less horsepower but has a higher top speed and I believe the oval version is the one they use for the speedway uh, like Indianapolis so I think that's enough intro I think we uh, it's time for, for a hot lap and uh, we're gonna see how fast we can go we are now doing 350 there's also a sort of overtake button on this thing, but I have no idea where it is. I got, I don't have it mapped, so I can't use it. But you don't really need it, man. We're doing 345, 350 kph. Wow. 300, are we gonna reach 60? No, not, not yet, not yet. Oh my gosh. This thing is fast. It just keeps the speed as well in the turns, you know, 340. Ah, it's getting less now. Let's see how fast can we go. And that's like... What was it? 41... 41.9 seconds is the lap time of the Indy car. Now it's time to switch to the Formula 1 car. So here we are crossing the line and the timer starts to count right now. 340 so actually we're not doing bad but I do not have any grip at all you can see I've done this before and I've been sliding around you can see the tire marks there and yeah I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do it as steady as possible of course 330 DRS is open everything I can do I'm doing and last two turns I'm very nervous around the corner. This is where it went wrong in one of my uh, recordings. I just crashed into the wall and flew off to the moon. And, oh wow, we are not far off. Oh well, we are far off, man. 33.8 seconds. So after the two hot laps, I decided to do a race around Indianapolis, a 10v10 race. So 10 Indy cars versus 10 Formula 1 cars. I stepped in a Formula 1 car and this is the result. As you can see, there are 5 Formula 1 cars and 5 Indy cars in the top 10. So basically, it's a draw. I had some recording box, so I couldn't show you the recording. But after this, I decided to step in the Indy car and do another race, which is going to be the deciding race. So basically, who finishes more in the top 10, Indy car or Formula 1, is going to be the winner. So here we go. Steering wheel not centered. Why is my steering wheel not centered? Because I crashed. Here we go. Indy car versus Formula 1 car, the deciding race. It's uh, five. It's 5v5 five five because uh, 5 F1 finished in the top 10 and 5 Indy cars. So it's time to... Uh, it's time to decide who is better. I do have a lot of understeer. I think I don't have enough front wing. But that's not really too bad. Oh yeah, that's too bad. It's bad. But it can also be the drag from the cars in front. Oh, look at this. Overtaking the Ferrari or the Formula 1 like it's nothing. You see the understeer. I think that's the problem. Ooh. 
Yeah, with NASCAR you can actually hit the bumper. But I don't think it's uh, doable in an Indy car. Blocking my way, blocking my way. Don't come in, don't come in! Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, by the way, AI is on 100%. Highest you can get in this game. Oh, look at me. Why are they so slow? I don't get it. Here we go, man. Ooh, I hit the wall. Nothing. I do have a lot of almost there, though. Um, but yeah, only some uh, things. Some front wing damage, maybe. Some minor damage. So I think we can continue without any problems. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Over the Ferrari is just sitting still. I don't know what... Where are we? Eighth. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, it only updates when you cross the line, doesn't it? So... Oh, what? Did I hit him? I think it's a draft that's causing these... Uh, or the... The dirty air that's causing this uh, understeer. I think it's a model in the game. Oh, through the needle. No, what is it? Needle through the gap. Oh, there's somebody on track. There's somebody on track. Did somebody hit him? I was looking backwards to find out, but I don't think somebody hit him. Oh, that's no problem. I'm getting up to speed without any... Here we go. Oh, I did I hit him? I'm pretty sure I hit close, but not as close as that. So maybe we could go for first person. That's maybe better. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, this is fun. Let's go for this. Let's go for this. Oh, you don't see a... You don't see a thing in this shit. Oh, this is hard. I'm gonna step off the throttle because these guys were too wide and didn't want to interrupt and crash. So now behind the Red Bull, there's actually two F1 cars in front. So... Oh, <laughs> that's easy. Now we are in... F oh, look at the understeer. Yeah, I have to lift the throttle there to... Uh, Oh, okay, that's a little curve. So, lap 5. Now, I'm going for this view. It's going to be a little more, more amusing. 43 seconds. That's actually already a back marker. He's going very slow. He's going very slow indeed. It's an indie car. Maybe he has some mechanical. Oh, the. Keep in mind, it's not completely set up for uh, oval. This car. I only did the front and rear wing and the fuel. So we could have done a little bit with the toe and with the camber and stuff. But I don't want to spend too much time in it. We definitely can let this thing run faster. Oh look at the gap. I don't know why the AI is so slow. It's a 100% so I don't know what's going on with them. I constantly think that's a car, but it's just a wall. Yeah, we are... Oh my gosh. Look at the speed! 360! What the heck? I'm uh, getting uh, the song in my head faster from... Uh, is it with Temptation? Yeah, faster and faster... Yeah, that's the song I get in my head. <laughs> yeah, actually, we... I think we didn't hit the speed in the hot lap. 
I believe we didn't hit 360. We just stopped at 350 almost. But look at this. Oh, not with the crash in the wall. Almost went wrong there. The tire was screaming for help. It's actually very boring. How can I make this video entertaining? I don't know. You see, I don't know what the AI the fuck is doing. But it's a 100%, so it should be okay. It's an updated version. So, no idea what's going on. But we have to decide whoever the winner is. There's not a back marker. You're on the final lap. There is a. I think it's the same Indy car as before, the one we already overtook. He was going slow, this one is going slow as well. Oh, this is a pretty easy race. Pretty easy. We're gonna win this one as well. You hear the tires screaming for help. Especially front right tire. Ooh. That's another win for us boys. Bada bim bada boom. Looking at the results of the last race we can conclude that there is a clear winner. Because the podium is being dominated by IndyCar. Number 1, 2 and 3 are all IndyCars. As well as the top 10. Because there are 7 Indy cars in the top 10 and only 3 F1 cars in this top 10 from the last race. It shouldn't come as a surprise that Indy cars are faster on the speedway but it was fun to test it out and I had a lot of fun doing it so somewhere next week we take the Indy car to the F1 habitat and we take it around an F1 circuit. I was thinking about Monza but if you have another track or another suggestion for an F1 circuit uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that thumbs up and like this video it would be absolutely cool if you subscribe to this channel would be a massive uh, help for me to grow it a little bit more i see you in the next episode and uh, have a nice day it's not completely the end of the video because there's a direct comparison coming up from both hot laps